of just the business strategy behind it. It just makes total sense. It shows me that I'm a valued employee and it makes me that much more committed to them. It makes a huge difference in my overall job performance. I think it's one of the best investments you can make. As the mother of two young children and the executive director of a multi-million dollar organization, I can't imagine not working for a child-friendly business. In 2006, First Five Fresno County created the Child Friendly Business Awards to both honor and challenge our local companies who support parent employees. Since then, 30 businesses have been recognized for their child-friendly practices. Well, we believe it's good business to be child-friendly. There's no question that if you have happy employees, that you're going to be more productive. Studies show that employees value the flexibility to balance work and home life more than promotions, stock options, or above market salaries. We try to attract the best and brightest talent. We spend a lot of time and effort and money to train these people. And uh, once they're trained, we don't want to lose them. And being family friendly is part of that strategy to keep them here and keep them happy. When I returned from maternity leave, I was still nursing my daughter. And Taylor Tutor Partnership allowed me to utilize our lactation room so I could still take care of my daughter while being here at work. In this economy, it may be difficult for businesses to give big bonuses or other monetary compensations. So being child friendly is a viable way to show employees your appreciation in a way that won't hurt your bottom line, but might actually improve it. I don't have to give up my career entirely, but I can also spend time with my family. I don't feel like I'm sacrificing one or the other. We understand that mom's a 24-7 job. You know, when you come to work, you're still a mom. And to, to have a mom that's happy, well, I tell you, there's no, no better employee than a happy mom. I work Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays in the office. Uh, when I first came back, I only worked about six hours a day, and I also brought her in with me on those days. Child-friendly can mean different policies for different companies, depending on the industry, and you don't have to spend a lot of money to make an impact. Technology of email and the internet has really helped us to be able to advance um, policy around here that's actually much more baby-friendly and mommy-friendly. I give out my cell phone number to customers if they ever need to get a hold of me. I am willing to come in on weekends. I will answer emails late at night if I need to or early in the morning. I'm just always available for them. So we have goals that we're trying to all work towards versus the number of hours per week they are here on campus or here at the dairy. Child-friendly practices provide employees the opportunity to be better parents and ultimately better employees, whether through flexible work arrangements, extended maternity and paternity leave, paid sick leave, offering transition plans for new moms returning to work, and childcare benefits. I don't think there's any question that our, our, our employees are more productive because we're a family-friendly business. Child-friendly practices really make a difference because it allows people like me to maintain a balance. And I just see it as something that's just high karma point. It's the right thing to do. It's made me a better employee and also a better parent. We believe that businesses play a vital role in supporting the first five years of a child's life. And that's why we encourage every employer to invest in the little things that make a big difference.